when these kids are eating popcorn on the couch, I'm like, put it in a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. crunching pretzels into the carpet. <laughs> I want to be like, oh, it's okay, our kids yeah. will be kids. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna hit yeah. you. Yeah. Your parents don't hit yeah. you, but we're gonna start. Don't let doubt enter your mind. Seek and ye shall find. Breathe if you agree. Welcome back. Uh, Today we have an incredibly special guest, an yeah. actor, a writer, a movie star, the funniest, one of the funniest people. I'm um, sorry, the funniest person. I was gonna say one of them is not really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the funniest person I've ever met. Welcome to the table, Caleb Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. My love. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. I'm so excited to it's be here. It's been a while. Obviously, it's off to a rocky start with one of. That right. was a tough, <laughs> right. that was a tough thing <laughs> right, to right. hear. We're actually gonna have to scrap the whole we're gonna get a message from your agent. Being yeah, like, yeah. So yeah, you need to put that in the trash. My lawyers, no, babe, my lawyers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're, sk we're skipping the agents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cease and desist immediately. You take that down. Yeah. <laughs> well, how are you? It's, I'm good. It's good to be back with you. I know. We dated for two years. Yes, exactly. And it, you were toxic, but I was healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how it ended. I know, yeah. yeah. But, but it's good to be back at this table. We can talk about it all of our, it, this entire episode is going to be about trauma. It's going to be back at the table. Yeah. And the kids are doing great, by the way. Oh, Not that you, you ask. Yeah. 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 How many were there again? Of three. Three. Yeah. Uh, I forgot about the third one. I know, which is crazy because you carried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually nuts. Yeah. I was drunk the whole time. So yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Then it shows. Yeah. Then it shows. Oh, uh, well, welcome, welcome <laughs> back to El Are you, you're not living here. In Los Angeles, Where California. Have you been? Everyone ha hates this about me and yeah. is not having fun with this. I have a place in Kansas City, right. uh, but I have a place in LA as well. And right. I, I rent in LA, don't worry. Yeah. But I go back and forth. Yeah, well, because right. you're 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 playing football for Kansas City. Right? Yeah, I play for the Kansas City Chiefs. Congratulations. On have the you Super met Bowl Taylor? Win. Thank you. No, I'm focused on the game, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, distraction. Distraction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Women, women, women. Women. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, being in the NFL as a gay guy is, I would say, perfect. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I just yeah. love it. Over there, I love the sport. Yeah. Well, you also perform the halftime show too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do it all. Yeah, I do it all. Yeah. And people are really scared to talk about that. Right? No, why they should not be. There's a culture of fear around how much I do. Yeah, mm. people are scared. Yeah, mm. I'm a f I'm a father. Yes, yeah. Yeah. just so we can actually get up to date on where we are in the episode. I'm a father. I'm an NFL player. Yeah. I'm bi coastal yeah. to the Midwest slash LA, yeah. and I'm a half time. I'm a performer. Yeah. And don't forget one of the funniest people. One yeah. of one yeah. One yeah. One kind of, oh, it's a big list for Nick. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just cracked the top something. That may uh, that may or may not change today. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on our podcast, but you also... Oh, wait, and you're a podcast... How could you leave out the fact that you're a podcast host? Well, I'm a podcast host. When you do as much as I do, right. it, does, it does like get hard to... No, I'm a podcast host. What'd you say? I said to remember. It's hard to remember yeah. everything. <laughs> so multifaceted. I'm multifaceted. Multi I actually was just joking to my friend the other day. I was like, everyone's a multi-hyphenate now, and yet mm -hmm. no one's good at anything. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that yeah. interesting? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that interesting? Yeah. Every, yeah. Everyone calls themselves like, yeah, I'm multi-hyphenate. I'm like, name, well, they, maybe pick one. Because <laughs> yeah, you're kind yeah. of throwing a lot of beans yeah. and a lot of baskets. You should probably focus on one of those so that you could get the others going. <laughs> maybe you don't have the talent to be five things. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm yeah. just like, let's look at all yeah. of the evidence and let's just maybe focus yeah. up, you yeah. know? Do you yeah. watch Drag Race? I've never seen it. Oh, uh, there's one. Bianca Del Rio like says to a contestant one, she's like, quickly. Name something you're good at. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, I love quickly. Fast, fast, quickly. Fast. quickly, right now. Yeah. Don't delay. And it was a long pause. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, sure. Awesome. I'm sure. Well, that, that, that put being put on the spot like that, you're like, well, I am. I'm a. I'm a dancer, a poet. Uh, there's too many, too many, too many, too many things people can be now. I really, I get myself in so much trouble because I end up. I hang out with a lot of drag queens, mm -hmm. and many of them have been on Drag Race, right. and so they'll sometimes like reference something mm -hmm. to me, and they'll be like, oh, of course, season six, and yeah. I'm like, honey, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I've lost. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, what? Actually, I. I did um, a, like two nights ago. I did a show in San Francisco, okay. and the drag queen Princess Poppy. Yeah, love. Oh my gosh. Jonah, she was. She messaged me and was like, "Can I come?" And I was like, "Yes, of course." And she, I, I, I knew her only from right. the internet. I didn't even know she was on Drag Race. Mm -hmm. I just knew she was a drag queen, and she was talking to me afterwards and she was like, I'm retired from drag. And I was like, you're like 23. Like, <laughs> what, well, you can't be this jaded, you know what I mean? Yeah. And she was like, yeah, basically. So of course, every, and everyone in the room knew all the lore. Yeah. She's like, I got eliminated second, which is worse than first. And yeah, it was like embarrassing. And then I dressed as a goblin for the Emmys. Mm. And I just, the whole time I was listening, I was like, what the f is going on in drag? <laughs> yeah. Why are you a goblin at the Emmys? <laughs> yeah. I was obsessed. It's, yeah. it's so amazing because online she like trolls. Yeah. So yeah. I think that was like part of the, I, I don't know, that's what I took from it. She was yeah. like a troll at the, yeah, at, yeah, yeah. At yeah. Everybody's like, who is that and yeah. why are they here? But Princess Poppy, I 
I adore. I, I also have, I'm oh, sorry. Amazing yeah. Instagram to follow. Really oh, okay. great Instagram. Content. Yeah. Great really Instagram. Great. I, I also like, I, I need to watch Drag Race more. I've seen like episodes here and there and I know some of the like, the more famous queens other than that, I'm just not very well versed in it. But so whenever I meet a new drag queen, I, I'm like, is it derogatory to be like, oh, are you on Drag Race? I like, I'm just, I was it like, is, is, you is should it? never ask yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. You're like, are you? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. On drag like, race? Are you, yeah. You wear that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I, I, I always, because I feel like it's a but I never do. I, do, I don't ask. Yeah. Cause, well, because people are like, oh my God, she's such a queen. And I'm like, well, you shouldn't because it doesn't equate to their success as a Oh, drag no, not queen. at all. Not at all. To me, show. it does. No, not at all. To me, yeah. it does. Yeah. If you weren't on drag race, get the. I get, take, take that wig yeah. off, bitch. Well, there need to be, there need okay, to be more well, seasons. I'll so. throw away all my wigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm like, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh my, I, my favorite drag queens are actually queens in Chicago that mm. are just doing the silliest, weirdest shit. Mm. Like, do y'all know Dairy Queen? I mean, I, I know, know the... I know the Dairy Queen. I know the blizzard. Yeah, the, the blizzard. Yeah. 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 The, up the and frosted. Down. Oh, yeah. I know. Bah. Yeah. Uh, frosted sugar cookie one is so by the way, good. Oh my god! I Dairy Queen is a drag queen in Chicago, and she's so like uh, her. She just posted a number that she did recently where she was um, Roz, the paperwork animal from Monsters Inc. Yeah. Oh, okay. And she's like, yeah, Declined. Yeah. Mike was asking. Mike was asking. Yeah. 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 Literally yeah. full like slug suit. Yeah. 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 Like, she's yeah. just on stage like declining no papers with no a pen. I'll show it to you later, but yeah. that is my drag. I like weird ass drag. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That actually reminds me. Yesterday night I was peeing and I saw something on the like edge of the wall and it was a slug in my bathroom. But <gasps> oh, I didn't beautiful. move it because I was like, I don't know what it I, I don't know what it would do. And yeah. then I was like, maybe I'll do it in the morning. I'll see how far it went. Yeah. Sorry, off topic. But I never checked back. So it's I gone. wonder if it's there. No, oh, I haven't no. seen it. Oh, it turned into a drag race. But talking about slugs. But. Yeah, yeah. It turned into, it's actually <laughs> it was on drag race. race. <laughs> it, just, yeah. it just won all Congratulations stars. Congratulations to that slug. <laughs> Rue loves you, girl. Yeah, yeah. But did you live in Chicago? I did. So I uh, grew up in Missouri, went to college in Missouri. Okay. Let's just get all my lore out yeah, of the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that. And then, yeah, I moved to Chicago to start doing comedy. I love that. I grew up in Chicago as well. Oh, my God. I know your Chicago yeah. history. Where did you grow up? Um, I was in Naperville until eighth grade. Thank you. And then <laughs> I was in um, Bucktown for high school. So Thank like you. Damon, Milwaukee, and North. Thank you. Something powerful <laughs> about Naperville is that when I was doing shows in Chicago and I needed, like every Chicago comedian has a Chicago suburb that they reference as right. a bit. Uh -huh. Like they just have one walked away. Like that, you always know, like, oh, that guy does Schomburg. Mm -hmm. like, oh, it just, yeah, yeah. You will have one. Mine was always Naperville. I love that. My yeah. mom's from Naperville. <laughs> oh my God. She's born and raised. This is so powerful. Yeah, yeah. this is amazing. This is this is the connection right here. Let's let's shut down production right now. <laughs> let's go to let's go to Naperville. Let's go to yeah. Naperville. Yeah. I don't even know what Naperville is famous for. My mom went to like a Catholic homophobia. School there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Homophobia. That was my experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, and, no. And, but and for you, real. And, and but for real, that was for me. But I would never go back. And you know, my mom is just a huge homophobe. No. Well, no. Don. Yeah. No, she I actually think she slashed my tire. Yeah. 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 She's been very cool to me. Yeah. You're gay. Me. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. Do you want to do you want to tell do you want to say it right into the camera right there? Are there any producers that can like hop in right <laughs> yeah. now and talk about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I am shoulder. gay. Yeah, it's um, I didn't not sexually. Mm. Um, I just noticed culturally that it was really on trend. Yeah, and so I hopped on to make money. Yeah, and I think the second it starts to go downhill, which might be soon, <laughs> I'll, I'll go back to straight. Yeah. Word. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it is a choice after all. Yeah. Yeah. It's a choice and money is money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm yeah. here to get paid. Yeah, gay for pay goes very far back. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm always... gay for pay not in the way where people watch me have sex, but yeah. in the way where people like to watch me go, okay. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and they're like, slay mom, they're like, slay. Yeah. 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 They literally pay to just be like, you're such a queen, oh baby my girl. God, bitch. Boots, boots. Boots. Whatever, whatever that may <laughs> <Yeah>. mean. <laughs> I'll tell you, you look cunt for $20 yeah. Yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. literally walking up to a gay person and being like, Boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm in a bad relationship. What do I do, honey? Honey, honey. <laughs> I had a girl to show the other night that I don't remember, maybe it was like uh, DC. The, she was, we were like asking who's in a relationship. And she was like, I am. He's a narcissist. I need to break up with him. And we were like, like yeah, 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 break yeah. up with him. And she messaged us the night, we like oh. on stage, we were like, break up with yeah. him. Yeah. She messaged us the next day and she's like, I did it. I feel so free. Oh. And we were like, okay. So <laughs> like, why is that what it seemed? All you needed was to say it out loud. Like, we didn't really do much. Yeah, I'm happy to help. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I do see a lot of like TikTok, like things like with that, where someone's like, oh, like I hate my boyfriend. And they're like, where is he? And she's, He's right next to her. Yeah, and yeah. He, they're like, Why, what do you do wrong? He's like, oh, I don't really know. I don't know. And they're like, oh my God, what should I do? I'm like, he, 
Why is this the place? Maybe you should go to therapy. I don't understand be, people. A lot of people do this. People yeah. are in relationships with people they genuinely do not like. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of obviously straight people. Gay people are not beyond it. But yeah. I'm like, just when, you, how do you wake up every day and spend your time with someone yeah. you don't like? Yeah. 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 Why? Yeah. Like when you're saying to your partner, like, I f-ing hate you. It's like, what? Why are you? Why are you still in the same room? Why are as we them? doing yeah. it? Like I had this one, this one straight couple friends that were like, they're like, yeah, we fight all the time, but the makeup sex is crazy. And I'm like, you can have crazy sex without hating the person. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. You're yeah. Right. yeah. I'm like, I can help you. Yeah, yeah. We can get the sex. Yeah, crazy. when people are like, we hate. F-, I'm like, well, you could also just like. F-. Yeah, and you could also hate. Strangers. Yeah. Like, you, know what I yeah. Mean? you don't have yeah. to have them in yeah. your home. Yeah. Literally. They don't it have to be on the couch. Yeah, it doesn't have to be someone who like does not help around the house. Yeah. Yeah. That's because what I'm it saying. would be convenience though. I feel like I did that. But that was in college when it was like <laughs> easier. Right. You're I was, not like, doing that. Yeah. I did that in college though, because it was like you saw him every day and I was yeah. like, oh, it's easier just to do it. I'm just like, I'm just gonna be with him because I would hate it if he was with somebody else. I'm just gonna be petty and be with yeah. him and hate him at the same time. I want you to know I'm completely addicted to you. I love <laughs> that you did that. I love yeah. that you're being so honest. Oh my god, no. Not us. <laughs> yeah. It was me. We were the one. We were the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm the one who history. carried the baby. You got yeah, it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, you, you are a surrogate. As gays look like. Yeah. <laughs> I get so many men pregnant these days. <laughs> I forget who's carrying and who's not. No, but that also reminds me of like I. You know when someone puts like an anniversary post or a birthday post and they're like, even though like you piss me off and yeah. even though like you make me want to scream sometimes, like I love you, Pookie Bear, and I'm like. Why are you telling us this? <laughs> on the, on your happiest day of your relationship, yeah. you're letting us know that they drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. do the happy part. Yeah, What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Oh my God. I like, but do you like couple on TikTok? Like couple TikTok? Oh, like those videos? people who like, like make combined S- Some profiles? of them I do like enjoy though. Some, sometimes it makes me like inward. I'm like, yeah. oh, I want that. And then other times I'm like, I'm going to throw my phone at the you mean like? Do you mean like like TikTok couples and stuff like that? Yeah. There is. I will say there's a TikTok. There's. A, I think it's a deep state kind of collusion with maybe an Illuminati situation. <laughs> yeah. There's an image rehab campaign going on for straight men right now, uh-huh. done by their girl but, partners, where they're like they're doing these little things on TikTok like that, yeah. where they're like they're like I made him a plate and I made me a much smaller plate yeah. and I'm gonna see what he says. Yeah. And then he, by the way, none of them are good actors. Yeah. So he's like, babe, why are you eating so little? Yeah. And she's yeah. like, there just wasn't enough for both of us. And he goes, baby, no. Yeah. Yeah. Have some of mine. Yeah. It's like, what the f is going yeah. on? Yeah. Why are you imagery having these weird dudes? I saw one where he's like, babe, no, let's just let's go on a date. And she's like, where to? And he's like, let's go to your favorite place. And then then there's this like whole cooked meal that they just leave on the table. I'm like, this is too far. <laughs> now you've gone too far. Now I definitely don't believe this. Yeah. But I, yeah, it is that is I like the painting ones right now. Like painting? where they painting, like what where kind of painting? painting each other? Oh you yeah. Seen those? Where they like they both have a canvas and it starts in the uh, the female partner's um, hands and they like show, they do like self portraits like with yeah. painting and they show it and usually the girls is really nice yeah. and beautiful and then the guy's like, oh my God, it looks so much like it and they're like, okay, take the camera and they turn around and it's you like the, the most the horrifying yeah. paintings yeah. of these yeah. women yeah. that yeah. look nothing like yeah. them yeah. Yeah. and horrible and then they like hand it to them and it's just like hilarious. Yeah. It's making fun of the yeah. guys, yeah. of course. Yeah, but. the girls always like, oh my God, you're so untalented. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the guy, the, the women put in like really, and by the way, really sometimes good. too, they'll be like, we did this for two hours. Yeah. And it's, you know, I'm not saying that everyone, I, I probably wouldn't be great behind the canvas either, but it's very much like, you know, circle, eye, eye, smiley face and like hair. And they, they make their girlfriends look like goblins. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then, and then the woman's like, ha, you're so, what the f- it's good laughs though. Yeah, no, it, it is cute. cute. It's yeah. cute. I do some couples content does make me like. I think most of the time I roll my eyes because mm. I'm uh, annoying and cynical. <laughs> but there, there is like every maybe like fifteenth video that I get this pang of like, I, I need that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah no, that yeah. has to be me yeah. right now. I need that. My first ever TikTok was with. A boy <gasps> was with my ex, my like last boyfriend in 2019. What were you doing? <laughs> we wait, did you were, a dance. Wait, you had, you, did TikTok exist in 2000 or was this musically? No, it was 2019. Oh, wow. Because he introduced me to it, okay. to TikTok. Oh, before. well, thank you. And we <laughs> did that dance by, I believe her name is Danielle Cohen. Okay. Oh. She had like a uh-huh. Harvard sweater on and like mm-hmm. sweatpants and it was like, it was, it was in <laughs> this phase, like the, oh, like, the, like, the yeah. like, yeah, that thing and like. Like, yes, I don't know, that. but it was really fun. Yeah. So, yeah. 
I was a couple content yeah. creator at yeah. one point, but we then are actually going to make a couples TikTok after this. We only made one, or maybe two. You guys, you guys need to start doing couples content. <laughs> when honestly, for the pod, here's my idea for the pod. Yeah, okay. You guys, every time you see a cute, cute couples trend that you love, we do it. Do it. Yeah. No, you guys need to do the painting thing. That's we tried posting a video of us doing anal, but it got taken down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wonder what. Send it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, send it yeah. to me because yeah. I know a lot about yeah, content can, moderation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, send that to me. I, I appealed it because I was like, this isn't against community yeah. guidelines. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I guess yeah. Just send it to me. I'll help you guys out. <laughs> totally. Make sure the volume's all the way up and <laughs> yeah, send it to yeah. me. And yeah, I'll check that all, out. Okay, by good. the way, and also if there are like any additional angles or if it was longer than it was, like you can just send me the full cut. Yeah. And, yeah. Why don't you guys do a couple more of those kind of videos? <laughs> send them to me. Yeah. I'll tell you what's gonna get through the. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll actually do some content after we finish recording yeah, for yeah, our, yeah. our episode as well. Yeah. So whatever you want to incorporate, yeah. we'd love. I could totally see you guys doing porn in here. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. Absolutely. By love the way, that. This, I imagine that this is what a normal porn studio looks like. I don't know though. With all this pink, it would probably put my whole to shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I only want to. In a dark room. Yeah. <laughs> Make the studio black. Yeah. I mean, well, we can turn the lights off. One intense light. Yeah. I don't know. These cameras, though, do kind of do magic. So yeah. I don't know. If I was going to do porn, I would want like these high tech cameras. Yeah. That's crazy. Because if I was going to do porn, I'd want it shot on a Nokia flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want high definition. Yeah. Don't yeah. give me 4K. One of those ones that has like brick breaker, or not even just snake. Yeah. yeah. Just the snake game. You're yeah. not going to catch me naked in 4K. <laughs> yeah. Film it on a Texas Instruments calculator. Yeah. <laughs> do that not. Come for me. That's what's always interesting to me about about porn is it's like the, it's so highly like uh, produced now, and I'm I'm wondering it, like what the setup is. I would love to be the like a fly on the wall yeah. in 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 a porn studio where it's like okay, places you know five everyone five minutes we're gonna go, and yeah. then it's like okay now sucking. I enjoy like a a more. Amateur. Natural. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. The best porn is literally some guy holding his cell phone. Yeah. yeah. About, and half the time the angle's like actually just over his, his shoulder on yeah. a lamp, you know? Yeah. But then yeah. he gets he gets it right again, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's like, yeah, the, these porns now that are like truly like film quality, yeah. like Scorsese yeah. directed it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, get it out of here. Yeah. No, it's too much. It just, it's, it seems so fake. It takes me out of it. Oh my God. I, they posted a TikTok about this, but I hope they don't mind me saying it, but mm -hmm. I, was watching porn recently mm -hmm. and it was this, you know, it, well, it was anal sex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this guy's giving this other guy back shots and, um, <laughs> yeah. and it's so real, casual, you know, this guy's giving this other guy back shots. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. But I'm, I'm keep getting distracted and I'm like, what am I noticing in this? There's something in the room mm -hmm. that is like the aura is like, and then I, I focus in and between like the guy's, the guy over the bed, and then in between their two bodies, like through the little, I see Claude's album cover. Claude, you know Claude the musician. This, uh, they're so, they're so, so, so uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. But a friend of mine's yeah. album cover oh hanging on God. the wall. And by the way, the video is like two straight neighbors try it out. I'm like, <laughs> nobody straight's listening to Claude. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then I'm immediately yeah. taken out Context of it. Clues, yeah. And I screenshotted it, and I was like, I don't want to send this to Claude because uh, that could be a like harassment, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. But then I saw them in New York recently, and I was like, stop everything. Yeah, yeah. I have to show you this. <laughs> That's uh, incredible. Blah. Yeah, I mean it's free advertisement. It's so funny to me mm -hmm. to be like to like not even remove the most obvious like they're like two straight guys try it out and it's like share Claude <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know like yeah. a, a tapestry of uh, like Nicki Minaj in front of the flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. all right, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like first time, and yeah. then it's yeah. like please, please, and then yeah. it's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like right to it, and you're yeah. like, yeah. there's like Aesop okay. in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 first yeah. time, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Um, My first time was that easy too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So what? Is, so tell us. Tell us more about. So so true. Your podcast. Everyone should stream it. It's so funny. So it's good. so so good. How has that process been? Have you been having fun? You've had some great guests. I had some great guests. Have some really good ones coming up. I'll yeah. tell you. I'll tell you who they are yeah. off camera. Beep um, beep beep beep. <laughs> yeah. Cut this. Yeah. 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 Um, it's been so much fun. I really. I had a podcast uh, f years ago with Shelby. With Shelby. Yeah. Um, called Keeping Records that was uh, it was super fun and it was a head gum and I loved them mm. and then we we ended up like it just kind of fizzled out mm -hmm. um, but I was wondering if I would ever do a podcast again and then I was like I think I want to do one and just do like I want to try and do really good like one on one interviews mm -hmm. you know and and not have a co host and just like I want to focus on like at trying to ask good questions mm -hmm. and I've had so much fun with it yeah it's, yeah it's out everywhere. It Go so check true. it out. Yeah. So true podcast. Yeah. So but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. No, it's, it's, it's very funny. It's so funny. I was listening to your episode with Shelby yesterday. Yeah. And Shelby was talking about um, a guy with Tourette's who came to her high school to speak in their like auditorium and he kind of had, and how he like, it's, 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 it's a motivational speaker, whatever. Mm. 
I had the same guy come to my high school yeah. and he hid things under our chair that was like at minute five, you know, stand up and scream this out in front of your entire aud auditorium. Uh -huh. I was not out of the closet yet. I look under my chair and it says at minute nine, stand up and say, I'm a f So I scream that into my high school auditorium. <laughs> And then, by the way, the Why best part about this man, because the that? whole point, the whole point was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, the whole, the whole point of this, of this speaker. Like, Switch with me. <laughs> yeah. I would have just been like, oh, I didn't get one. Yeah, I, like, yeah. I don't yeah. see one. The whole point of it was to like, to show like what it's like living with threats, yada, yada, yada. But the best part about him is that, did you know that he now, I'm friends with him on Facebook. I added him because I thought he was hot. Um, oh, buddy. He is apparently cured from Tourette's because he is one of the still remaining members of Nixium. Everything you just said. <laughs> what's, what's that? It's the cult. The cult. The sex cult. You know there was like Young, an HBO you? documentary. It was with, like a big. It was a big, big, big controversy. Bad, bad, bad place. Oh, bad okay, place. work. Yeah. Work. Yeah, yeah. Love, yeah, love it actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Work. Joining it. Yeah. So unproblematic. You're like, I'm so unproblematic. I don't even know about these things. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, um, is it still happening? Nixium, I mean, uh, according to his Facebook status. I guess according to Nick's Facebook friends. Is yeah. <laughs> he gay? No, he wasn't gay, but he did have a gay brother. But I think his gay brother like ousted or like got rid of him because he was like, you're a Nixium. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't want to be a family member. And he wrote on a piece of paper, I'm a yeah. And put yeah. it under yeah. your a high, yeah. school a high school student's, student's chair. chair. Yeah. It, it was very, by the way, it, 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 it taught me a lot. That was the universe. Yeah, frankly. that was the Putting universe. Putting you in yeah, that chair. I came out. That was my coming out. Yeah. <laughs> the universe was, was like, honey, this yeah. guy with Tourette's is yeah. going to help you out. <laughs> yeah. did people, what, did, what was people's response to that? Laughing. Okay. Lots of laughter. Sure, yeah. yeah it was, kind of a knowing laugh. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh Yeah, lots yeah. of awes. Yeah, it was great. It was a very, very exciting experience for me. That's for sure. Yeah, being that age and having to yell out anything yeah. in the room can yeah. be so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. a school assembly, nonetheless. Yeah. No, it was sucked. it was it was a weird it was a very weird situation but honestly kind of like you know the performer in me was like oh my god I got one I get to say something and then I opened it and it was like oh but what god. if it said like I'm a cum guzzling whore who enjoys anal on Wednesdays you were gonna read that out look I'm always gonna perform you're I'm gonna participate always gonna in the perform bit. sick name. At my high school, like the librarian was, she she hated my guts, hated my guts. Yeah. I, because it's always like you're going to do homework where you're like, and she's yeah. Like, this is a library. Yeah. This is my job. Her job is to shush. Yeah. Uh, we, our librarian was, ultimately, I think I would probably like her now. Like, mm -hmm. she was kind of an iconic, yes. like, a surly old woman, kind mm -hmm. of a B. Arthur figure. So, love. <laughs> love yeah, yeah, obsessed. But she just would get, she would put her foot in her mouth all the time, and we couldn't help but laugh. Like, there was this flexible. one time. What did you say? <laughs> She's flexible. She's flexible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Queen. She, uh, queen. <laughs> queen. <laughs> friend, it's, we had study hall in there, and my friend Justin had, like, fallen asleep during it. And she was like, she, she yelled at him. She was like, Justin, get up, or you'll be sleeping with me after school. <gasps> And she she yeah. meant like she'll yeah. have detention. Yeah. Yeah. But we obviously all were yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're so horny. Come on, yeah. you can't. Justin, <laughs> yeah. just stuff like you're that. Sleeping. I'm, I'm gonna start using that. When You'll I be get sleeping mad, so with me like, after yeah. school. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, meet me in the adult fiction yeah. section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's, yeah. Like, she's like, Justin, wake up, or yeah. we're gonna. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. And oh. you better be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> no sound being yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. But so you, high school was Missouri. Were you in Kansas City? Is that like your hometown or? No, high school, very rural Missouri. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just, Kansas City was kind of like, as soon as I got my driver's license, mm -hmm. I was like going there all the time. Okay. Because I was like, there's gay people there. Yeah. And there's like, there was like an, um, an art house theater that would show movies that my town didn't get. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was in Kansas City a lot. Then I moved there after high school school briefly to work. I worked in politics mm -hmm. and then, um, multi-hyphenate, multi-hyphenate, yeah. <laughs> good at nothing. <laughs> um, but I worked in politics for a while. And so, so then I just kind of, Kansas City's always kind of been home to yeah. me. Mm. Yeah. What's, what's, what is like life like in Kansas City? I think Kansas City is beautiful. Y'all should come visit me. Yeah. I honestly would yeah. love to. Come stay at my house. Yeah. I mean, you I, have a house. Yep. You have a house. Have Craig. A house Craig. Craig. Oh, they're giving them away over there. <laughs> um, I actually, I say that I, I keep, because this keeps coming up that I bought uh -huh. a house there and I keep saying they're giving them away, uh -huh. which is like, you know, obviously I'm like deflecting a little bit. Yeah. Be like, no, no. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. need to stop saying that because it's actually very hard for people to buy <laughs> yeah, homes. Right. It's like right. not a cute thing yeah. to say. And I keep catching myself doing it. Um, Kinsey's lovely. It is, it really, there's a lot of gay people. Yeah. People are surprised by this. I, I would never have guessed. People are always like, oh my God, why would you be in Kansas City? Isn't yeah. it horrible? I'm like, no, there's a huge queer yeah. scene. Mm. Everybody's lovely and nice. I know all my neighbors. The food, there's a, there's great restaurants. Like there's so much good food. You never have to like beg for a parking spot. Right. Like it just is like, life is really 
easy and fun mm-hmm. and nice over there. And mm-hmm. you have like a it's wonderful, I, you have like a wonderful, you have a wonderful neighbor situation too, right? I have right? such a great neighbor situation. Yeah. I, I, these, uh, these two older women live next to me that I absolutely adore. And, uh, yeah, everybody else on my street is so nice. And, um, Ken city, my friends, do y'all know, uh, Waxahachie and Kevin Morby. I don't think they're so. like indie rock musicians. Okay. They live, uh, in Ken city as yeah. well. And we just have a nice little, we have a nice little friend group yeah. there. That's so nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. My I feel friend. like you also keep bringing up like a lot of really cool musicians and I'm like, baby, I, I, I have a terrible, I have, have the most basic. Have you heard of small indie artist, Ariana Grande? <laughs> Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know Beyonce yeah. Knowles Carter? Do they have Beyonce in Kansas City? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, about, about Kansas City, do they do Lady Gaga? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do they come through? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. It's really, it's it's so nice and lovely. And the really nice thing, honestly, is I go, uh, like everybody, back and forth to LA and New York so much uh-huh. that I've gotten into this really nice rhythm of like, when I have to go from one to the, I hate those six hour flights. Yeah. Mm. They're awful. I'll, I'll just stop, stop over for a couple days. Yeah, that's nice. Because it's a, it's a, uh, directly in the middle. Yeah. So I'll stop for like three days, stay at my house, then go on. Yeah. That's See so my mom. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Your mom's there. My mom's there. Yeah. Yeah. In Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, I mean, that makes yeah. it even more better. Yeah. 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 yeah she's, a, she's absolutely toxic. If you're watching. Yeah. Like, no, I'm kidding. My mom's like <laughs> my best friend. I love her to death. Same. Uh, um, yeah. She's great and she lives not far from me so it's yeah. just yeah it's easy that's yeah. so great yeah and going back and forth like how do you juggle like are you dating in both cities oh, or yeah. like because you're traveling a lot you have so much coming up which is i'm so excited to keep talking yeah. about yeah. every we have a lot of so, so much to cover um so how does that like personal life kind of yeah well date my love life is just like always the big punchline of my life you mm-hmm. know what i mean like everything I, like i feel like when everything else is going well my love life will still be a mess mm-hmm. um i'm dating yeah i date i date all the time i date here i date in new york and city but i can say it's a little harder because yeah. a lot of the gay guys there are either people who went away and they were like a, a curator at a museum in la for 20 years and now they're back with their partner raising yeah. kids you yeah. know like that settled kind of thing mm-hmm. Or it's like guys who are like 21 and they go to the Art Institute, mm-hmm. you know, or they go to UMKC. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm somewhere in this yeah. weird middle ground. Yeah, totally, totally. You know? um, but yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to date. It's so. Yeah. It's yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite city to date, date in? New York. New York, yeah. yeah. New York. I have so much fun in New York. Yeah. I'm literally, I go to New York every month now for work, but I'm like, literally, even when I don't have a super compelling work reason, mm-hmm. I'm like, I just want to go on some good dates. Yeah. yeah. People in New York are so much more fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I love the city of LA. I'm mm-hmm. not an LA hater. I adore LA, but New York is just way more fun to date. People are more like, they have, I think they have more interests. Mm-hmm. They have more like. A lot of the guys I date in LA, um, <laughs> sorry guys, love yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the guys I've dated in LA have just been like a little boring. Yeah, like mm. the only thing they have to say is they're like, "Yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm trying to be an actor." Yeah, yeah. And mm. then it's like full stop. And I'm like, "That's fu- that's awesome." Yeah, same. Yeah. But like, is there anything else going mm-hmm. on? Do you have maybe an interest or a mm-hmm. hobby other yeah. than like your own success? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and the answer is no. Right. You know, I find it too though. Like in New York, and I'm not saying this for everybody in LA, but in in New York, it's so nice when um, you go on a date with somebody who like celebrates their queerness as much as you do and here sometimes like that isn't as like open with mm. a lot of people it's kind of like still like very inward yeah which is like which is amazing like everybody goes at their own their own pace but in new york it's just like the nightlife of it all and everybody like exploring just like in a more communal sense yeah is what i feel <clears throat> from dating in new york to dating here as well but. i am so glad you said that because there is a thing that i have experienced i feel the same exact way mm. and there's a thing i experience sometimes because i like i don't know i'm like a, i wouldn't say i'm mask but i you know i dress like this mm. and i watch football mm-hmm. and i live in kansas city sometimes other gay guys will like you know those gay guys that are like i'm gay but it's it's not who it's i am it's not who, yeah it doesn't, yeah it doesn't, not, it doesn't, doesn't define, define me. me yeah and it's like first of all yes it does <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. Second, but they literally they, look at your wrist. They're like, it doesn't. It, it doesn't define you. It does not define. It me. doesn't define you, and yet it's all you talk about. Yeah, Isn't that yeah. But I, they, they will sometimes like think that they found an ally in me to give me that like the not celebrating their queerness oh, thing. Or yeah, like, yeah. We're just like guys who are gay. We don't have to yeah. talk about it. And I'm like, you have got the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, I do not yeah. feel that way. Yeah. I hate that energy. I, I, I really, something that like has like it, in the dating scene too is when people are like, oh, like I, I just, don't, I like, yeah, I'm gay and it doesn't define me, but also like, I don't really hang out with gay people that much. I'm like, that is not, that's not, that's not a brag. That's not the brag that you think it is. Also, it doesn't have to be, the thing is like, there are a lot of things about the gay scene that I don't partake in just because they're not my interests. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I don't love like raves. I don't watch drag mm-hmm. race, things like that. They're, that doesn't mean they're invalid or uninteresting. Right. It's just like, I don't do that that's that not much. my thing. Shut the up about it. Of yeah. course. Just yeah. don't do it. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand the desire 
it, honestly, a personality trait I dislike across the board about just human beings is when you meet someone who defines themselves by what they don't like mm-hmm. rather than what they love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. You're a boring, uninteresting person. Yeah. That's so nasty and like gross. And that's not to say that I don't have things I dislike. I right. obviously talk a lot about things that I don't like, mm-hmm. but when you like define your core identity around being like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for other gay guys that are like not in the scene. Right. Yeah. It's like, shut the fuck yeah. you we're all going to go to the same camp when it comes to that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you're with us, baby, whether see, you like it or not. Yeah. 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 Me and yeah. you are going to be next to each other in the chow hall. So you need to <laughs> get it together. I'm your family, whether you like it or not, bitch. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, you want me as a friend. You're going to want me in there. Yeah. But I mean, you're, you all got all booed up. You're done. You found your guy. I'm done. That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah, so He's, cute. Y'all are Sweetie. so cute together. Oh, thank you. Are you single? I'm single. Yeah. Okay. We're single. So we'll talk later. Yeah. And then you're done. You already did it. I'm in a, yeah. How long have y'all been dating? Almost two years. Yeah. That's sick. Do yeah. you feel? Comp- do you feel like married? So happy. Yeah. So we're, happy. We're, we're like married without the ring. Ah! Yeah. No. He's the best. It's so exciting. He's the sweetest. What is your favorite thing about him? Um, his heart, definitely. He's just like the kindest. AKA okay, it's a dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got heart. a huge just, heart. Just the way he yeah. uses his heart and he yeah. knows what he's doing yeah. with it. Yeah. No, he's <laughs> just tight little hairy <laughs> hole. <laughs> he's and the, his heart. Yeah, and his heart and his heart. No, he's just like the sweetest. He's he's the most wonderful, lovely person to be around. Like I just feel like his warmness like completely spills out of him every every situation Ooh. he's in. Yeah, exactly. His warmness oh, spills out of him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I bet it does. Yeah, I bet. No, yeah. I, everyone. He's he's. I love bringing him around every single person in my life. Oh, everyone he's the best. That he's is so beautiful. Yeah. I wish you talked that way about him privately because off camera, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you were being really negative yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, help me with this Instagram caption for his birthday. I, should I include the part where I'm like, you make me want to f- die. You make yeah. my life. F- Hell, but babe, it's always been you. Yeah. But babe, but babe, but babe, I love your heart. Yeah. But your heart, it's so big. Oh my God. Yeah. He just got announced president. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. Of his no, he of Yale Business he's, School. He's my boyfriend. Oh, this is real? <laughs> yes. I was, I was like, yeah. yes, he got announced president. He's the president. I was like, okay, new bit. Yeah. I'm along. I'm yeah, along. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. He's Joe Biden. Yeah. He, won, he is the Joe Biden of the he's Yale Business He's president of Yale he Business won, something? Yale Business School. Yeah. He won yesterday. God. Yeah. I sent him a. Did he tell you this? No. Oh, I sent him a little lip sync um, of the end of JLo's in- inauguration oh, singing. Yeah. I said, let's get loud. <laughs> Did you see that? This what? When jo- oh, wait, at Joe Biden's inauguration? I feel like I'm watching it right now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. There's a voice in there, by the way. Don't yeah. play games with me. Oh, yeah. You can do a little bit all you want, hey. but there's a voice in there. <laughs> Gay guys love to do that. Yeah. We, lo- we love, we love, we yeah, love. Like you're like, ah, and then you like end it like as if you're joking. Yeah. Like, oh, I do. I do it all the time. Yeah. I love, I love to try. I love to do, to be like, what if I was singing right now and then mm. try and see yeah. if people like it. You are, know? You, are you a singer? <laughs> no, I can, I can sing a little bit. Mm-hmm. I can sing a very little bit. And of course now I would never do it because yeah. of the context it came up right. in. Mm-hmm. But I can sing like a tiny little bit, but it's embarrassing when you hang out with real musicians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, and I feel like you know, like, like some Claude and yeah, 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 like I Ariana, the other two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Beyonce, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, yeah, it's really. I think I, I just last night finished a tour with uh, my friend who's a musician. We mm-hmm. did like a co-headlining tour. Yeah, and it's so humiliating to be a, not, like no. to be a comedian is just like music is so objectively cool and when you write a beautiful song you get to play it forever mm-hmm. when I write a great joke it's like people are pretty sick of it once I've taken it to every place you know yeah. what I mean like you just can't do it forever but I will say touring with musicians made me feel a little bit better about being a comedian because those people they get their 10 hours before the show. Mm-hmm. They yeah. hang out at the venue all day. Yeah. They have to work the entire day. Yeah. They have to split their money among like 17 people. I'm like, I show up 10 yeah, minutes before the me, show. Yeah. The audience is already sitting there. Yeah. I walk in, the mic's on, mm-hmm. I do the show, I take all the money. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah. And doing stand-up comedy like is so vulnerable though too yeah. because like as a musician, and not always, I mean like there are solo acts for sure, but like you are literally only up there like just you and that microphone. So it's yeah. like, when you started that, like, did you and do you still do you ever get nervous now? I know you were on a you were on a tour, which sorry we didn't ma- I didn't yeah. even know that <laughs> yeah. it was last oh, night. No. There's and always I, another show. I know, and I can't wait to come to the next because Carly texted me and was like, "Are you going?" And I was like, "I like didn't even know," and I felt so horrible. I was like, and I did DM the coronet yeah. on on Instagram. They didn't answer me. So, yeah. no, this is how it goes though. I feel like this happens to me all the time because everyone's doing so much. Mm-hmm. Like, in our, our all of our friends are doing totally. like a million things. I'll find out, I'll be, I'll, I'll randomly be in New York and like one of my close friends will yeah. have a huge thing and I'll see it the next day. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, what the f- 
Like, how did I not know? It's the, and you know, a lot of it is the the algorithm too. Yeah. Because like you post something and people are like, I didn't know that. And it's like, really? Because we've been posting about it for like every so day. There's long. also something bad. Like the bad thing that I do is I'll see like a friend is doing a show or doing something, whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, I'll get tickets. And then, and then I've completely <laughs> myself. Like I should buy it the minute that I see it. Mm. Yeah. Just be like, set it, put it in the calendar, be done with it. Yeah. Because it's always like, what, I, what ends up happening too is then I always have to like, ask people and I feel like a loser or just like weird or whatever, being like, hey, can I get a comp? Yeah. But like, oh, I'm, there, I'm sure they're happy to comp. Yeah. I'm always happy to comp if I can. Stand up, uh, starting stand up was like, I don't know. I don't get nervous at all anymore. Mm -hmm. I actually was just joking this one yesterday. They were like, um, this guy that I'm uh, talking to, mm -hmm. it was like, oh my God, are you nervous? It's going to be such a big crowd tonight. And I was like, no, actually the funny thing is now I get nervous if it's not a big crowd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, now I'm like, if there's a 700 seat room and we sold 650 tickets, mm -hmm. I'm not going to comment on it. But in yeah. my head, I'm like, yeah, I mean, those 50 seats are going to look, you know, yeah, that stresses me out because mm -hmm. I want it to be full because I'm I am. I believe in the material now. Yeah, totally. I think the scary thing about people being there when you're starting out is that you're not you're not very good. Yet. Right. You know, yeah. so you're like, don't more people see me do bad at this. Mm -hmm. But I actually started stand up in a really funny way. My friend Casey Sorrell. Hi, Casey. Um, hey. She was doing she ran a burlesque show in Springfield, Missouri, in Southern Missouri, where mm -hmm. I went to college. Nice. And she was like, we have this burlesque show at this. Uh, there's this area of Springfield, Missouri called C Street. Mm -hmm. She was like, we have this burlesque show down on C Street and we need a host. Do you want to come do stand up? We'll oh. give you 20 bucks. OK. And I was like a broke college kid. I was like, I need 20 bucks. And yeah. had you had you ever like prepared any jokes or anything like that? Or were no. you just like, I like make I like I like making people laugh. no I was just fun I did improv yeah, on campus same. and I, I was doing improv with my of course she did improv <laughs> yeah. I was doing improv with my buddies and Casey thought I was funny yeah. and she was just such a, a sweetheart and she her show was really popular yeah. they ran a great show and it's called Cherry Bomb Burlesque I think they still do it and I was like, I need 20 bucks. Yeah. And also I've always kind of um, thought maybe I would do something in the performing. So I started doing, I was getting paid to start stand up, which is oh. completely like, doesn't yeah, happen. That's, that's happen. amazing. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was horrible. All my jokes were bad, but I was, you know, figuring it out. Yeah. yeah. And it was I mean, it is very much an instrument. Like you have to, you have to fine tune. You have to work at it very hard. Yeah. Like very, very hard. Was there a moment where you were like, okay, I feel, I, I no longer feel like I'm bad or I, I feel very comfortable in this or. I think I started, I probably did stand up for the first time. How many in, years has it been? Um, now it'll be 20, um, 2018. So six years, I think. Yeah, okay. I think for six years, and I, I mean, did For six years, I mean, six you're, you're years, killing it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but I really, truly, I, it was like two years ago that I felt like I'm a yeah. comedian. Yeah. I'm not just like trying at this. I'm like right. actually a professional comedian. I can walk into a room and even if people don't want to laugh, I can, mm -hmm. I can make them laugh. Totally. Yeah. It was, but it took that long of doing yeah. a lot of shows. Mm. And if I have a couple friends starting stand up right now who have done mm -hmm. like other comedy stuff, right. and I'm always encouraged. There's some yeah. stand ups that are like, no one else do it. We're oversaturated. Right. I'm like, everyone yeah, can join. Why not? Yeah. Um, but th there's my friends who are starting right now are like, I just want to be like where you're at, where like there it's a joke every, uh, you know, like it's not just like five minutes with five jokes. It's five minutes with five big jokes mm -hmm. and then ten little ones in between. Yeah. And I'm like, you'll get. It's just time. Right. Yeah. yeah. It sucks, but yeah. it's time. How does that? How does that transfer? So if you have. First of all, it's so exciting to announce you have a movie coming out, Trash yeah. Mountain. I have a movie coming out. Lily Wachowski is the director, right? Yes, Lily Wachowski. So we have Wachowski. Um, we haven't filmed it yet. Okay. We are working on it. Uh -huh. Um, we're right now we're like still gathering funding and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Lily Wachowski is the Matrix. Oh, I know. I'm gonna cry. So yeah. cool. I love and Lily is like the most. I literally could cry. The most beautiful human uh -huh. being. Like. Just like, oh, I love her so much. Yeah. She's so wonderful. She is like a total like queer icon and mm -hmm. a, like a hero of mine. Yeah. And when I wrote the script with my friend Ruby Castor, who's an absolute genius, mm -hmm. when my dad passed away like two years ago, mm -hmm. and I pretty much immediately was like, I need to write about this. I feel yeah. crazy. Yeah. And so I was writing really early in the grieving process. And Ruby is such a smart uh, screenwriter. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Will you write this with me? Mm -hmm. I want it's. I'm. It's not going to be a lot of fun. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to be really picky. Right. And I, it's just going to be kind of a horrible thing to work on me with. <laughs> I think. But I, I need your help. But I would appreciate. Yeah. And she was so down, mm -hmm. and she just made it so, so, so good. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wrote it together. And when we finished it, I was like, we could go out and pitch this everywhere if we wanted to, and we could go through that like you know months long process right. of setting up every meeting in town. But I was like, I just don't, I just want to take it to my friends. Yeah. yeah. And so I sent it to um, Colin Trevorrow, 
who is a fabulous producer. He's based in London now, but he did the Jurassic World movies. Oh, cool. I mean, he, oh, right. You were in that. You were in. He that. cast me yeah. in Jurassic World, which was so nice of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, literally just called me and was like, do you want to be in Jurassic mm-hmm. World? And I was like, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so he put me, because he had known me from the internet, and he put me in Jurassic World, and um, he's a director and producer and an absolute genius, and I just, when I was doing Jurassic, we got to hang out a little bit in London, mm-hmm. and um, I got to talk to him about films, and I just, I think he's a genius. So I sent it to him, and I sent it to Lily. Mm-hmm. And I was like, do you guys like it? Is it total, you know, is it bad? Is it good? Like, tell me something. Yeah. And they both loved it, mm-hmm. pretty much immediately, and... Yeah, we started working on packaging it, and now we're just like figuring it out. That's so exciting. Yeah, and so so it's 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 about your relationship with your father. Are, are you are you set to star in it? Yeah, I star. Fuck I'll yeah. star in it, and it's, it's um, so amazing. So cool. yeah. congratulations! Congrats. Thank you. That's I'm so really excited. Exciting. It's yeah. um yeah, it's like it's this big emotion. I cried every single time I worked on mm-hmm. it. Um, it's a big emotional movie about my dad and um. I don't want to give too much away, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, because I have a, I have a. You guys are so disarming. I'm, I'm ready to give away all the secrets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it's yeah, it's about my dad. My dad and I had a very complicated relationship. Mm-hmm. He was a, he was a hoarder. He was a, um, agoraphobic, mm-hmm. um, just a lot of mental illness. But like a deeply smart and funny person. Mm-hmm. And he really had a very strong sense of, he was not a very good at being a parent, mm-hmm. um, which we talked about often. Mm-hmm. Um, but he just had a really strong sense of right and wrong. Mm-hmm. And I think the thing I'm most like appreciative of our relationship for is that he really taught me like, even though he was, he was, he was like a mean guy. He mm-hmm. was a very kind person. If mm-hmm. that makes sense. Like mm-hmm. he was, he was gruff and kind of like tough to be around, mm-hmm. but he always took care of people and did the right thing when it was like time to do it. Mm-hmm. And I think he, I think he taught me how to be a good person. Yeah. And I loved him to death. Yeah. Well, ultimately, <laughs> <laughs> ultimately really literally, yeah. but yeah. Um, so it's about, it's kind of about, um, less about even our relationship and just my experience of his passing. Cause it was yeah. such a weird Thing yeah, that's it. yeah. I mean, that what uh, writing your way through it. I mean, that's that's yeah. incredible that you could also sit sit down and do that for yourself. Yeah, it was really. I think uh, there were people in my life when I was doing it who were like, "Hey, you don't need yeah. to do that." Yeah. And I was like, "No, I totally. It's not because I feel like I have to be productive or right. I have to squeeze this into some product." Mm-hmm, yeah. uh, when I when we first when I first started working on it and then working on it with Ruby, I wasn't even sure if we, I was going to send it to people. Right. Yeah. Right. I was like, I'm writing this because I'm processing right, right. now, and I this is how I this is how I make sense of this mm-hmm. shit. But then I actually liked it. So I was like, well, we can probably make this. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm so sorry for your loss, yeah. really. Thank you. And what a beautiful way to yeah. cherish your relationship with him. And I can't wait to watch it. Yeah. Like, I can't it, it sounds so beautiful. It so does sound, yeah. Thank you guys. Congratulations on yeah. that. And Thank you. Yeah. I'm course. excited. Yeah. I, I just, it's really fun to be able to do it with people you love. So I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping we can get it made. Are you ready? Are you ready to be a leading man? I'm not ready to really <laughs> My dream, honestly, is to be like number three, number four on the call yeah, sheet yeah. and just come in and tell a joke every couple yeah, scenes. That's yeah, what I want. Yeah. And this is a drama. Like, this is a, yeah. it's, it's funny, but it's like a mm. more dramatic. So I'm ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. But I'm like, it's You're just so funny, it. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's so goofy for me yeah. to be like, I'm the guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, everyone be quiet. He's here. Oh, oh, he's stand on up, stand, yeah, yeah, stand, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. yeah. Like, Where's my coffee? Yeah. What the I've been here for yeah. five minutes. When you're when you're on set, like as the fourth on the call sheet, you just get to be like the goofy one that everyone loves. But when you're the lead, you have to be you have to be evil. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. like vulnerable too. It's like the stand up thing. It's like you, this is yeah. like a whole new side that people are gonna get to know, which yeah. is so exciting. But I know probably so like frightening as well. So like yeah, that's yeah. amazing. It's weird. It's weird to I think uh, put out something because stand up. But yeah, stand up is so stand up is vulnerable, but it feels like everyone's expecting you to joke about stuff. So yeah. you just, everything's kind of a joke, you right. know, but writing something that's like, no, this is an actual time that I cried the hardest I've ever cried. Mm-hmm. And we're going to recreate it for camera. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's yeah. pretty like, that's what it is. Like, yeah. I'm not joking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Not kidding yeah. around. Yeah. Not kidding. Yeah. Not kidding yeah. around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, and then also you, uh, the, incredible. And you also wrote on, um, human, Resources, resources, yeah. which I'm obsessed with the whole series. Oh, I like you. absolutely love it. It's so funny, and I'm so excited to um, every time there's a new season of Big Mouth in general. So like it, the whole the whole thing of it all is so the whole cool. cinematic universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah. it so much, and like that's so cool. You got to write on it as well. Yeah, Nick's uh, Nick is a genius, and, and Andrew Goldberg and um, uh, Mark Levin and Jennifer Flackett, the whole team over there, Kelly Galeska, who show ran Human Resources. They're all so smart and funny and good at what they do. Mm. I mean, Andrew worked on uh, Family Guy forever, mm. and Kelly worked on BoJack Horseman. Like, they are just so. That was the first writing job I ever had, uh-huh. and I got it from like basically from Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And yeah, they just, I kind of, when they interviewed me, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, just yeah. so you know. Yeah. And they were like, that's fine, we'll teach you. And yeah. no one gets to learn writing TV that way right. anymore, I feel like. No, no. I feel like you have to be an assistant mm. or you have to like, be, you know, win some kind of script competition or yeah. something. And they just were like, you seem funny, funny. Yeah. and you, we can teach you the rest. And yeah. I, that that is like the most rare thing yeah. ever now. So yeah. I was like, thank you. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. So cool. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was awesome to work on that. Speaking of Twitter, we met through Twitter. We did meet through Twitter. How do you miss Twitter? Absolutely not. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. Not a second. I miss yet. only you. Yeah. I miss yeah. you and not Twitter. Do you yeah. miss it? Not at all. Not yeah. at all. No, it, I feel like it. I feel like there was a part of it where it was fun for a bit. And then I was just like, this is too much. I also got obsessed with like checking my likes and like yeah. who, who liked this and who did this and whatever. But it was also just like this exhausting. I also was like, why am I doing all this for free? Yeah. That's like, it, it felt like I was like, I could, I could hopefully monetize it somewhere else. I mean, not that I really did, but. But, but ideally, I could. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it changed your brain. Being on the internet at all, I think a lot of TikTokers are going through this mm -hmm. right now. Um, but it trains your brain to be a not very, um, what well, changed you to be paranoid? Mm -hmm. Cause you're, oh, you're sure. constantly looking for like, okay, how many people are saying this is bad? Do I need to delete it? Is right. the, you know, cause you're doing this, this risk analysis of like, if, if, if 50% of people are saying it's funny and 50% are saying it's bad, that's mm -hmm. just good content. Yeah. yeah. You know, but if yeah. it's 53 on the bad, maybe I need to take it down before right. it gets out of control. Totally. And it's, so it's this, it's this paranoia that it breeds in you. And it also forces you to boil down like as an artist, what I what I do on the internet, I don't view as being artistic personally. Mm -hmm. There are plenty of people who do artistic things on yeah. the internet. I think drag queens do artistic things on the internet. I think there are a lot of, but what I do on there feels like this goofy thing I do on the side to bring attention to my actual art mm -hmm. for me. Right. And so, but in that way, it forces you to boil your thoughts down to these little digestible, like shareable things that maybe are relatable, right? So it forces you to do these things that you're like, wow, what can I think of today? What can right. I film what in my I house say next? Yeah. that 2 million people will be like, oh my God, me too. Me too, yeah. yeah. And that inherently is creating from a place that like I, I didn't find very healthy. Mm -hmm. And since I've gotten off the internet more, I'm not on the internet much, mm -hmm. which is funny because with the podcast, people think I'm on there all the time. Right, yeah. I don't post any of that stuff. Right. I don't run my socials. Mm -hmm. But the the thing, the biggest thing that has changed is I like people more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I don't I'm not I don't think so negatively yeah. about people. It's a, it's I mean there 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 are corners of the internet and a lot of Twitter eventually turned into and especially with Elon Musk taking over it just became like a hellscape. I mean I some I'll go back on Twitter every once in a while I'll, I'll get some news from there and I'll I'll see like a, a viral tweet whatever and the responses I'm just like this is out of control. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a very scary place. It also like I, yeah I feel like it opened the door for me at least a lot and I feel like I can say, like say that I'm lucky and maybe it's a little naive but to be in like a bubble and feel safe and not have like terrible things said about me all the time, but there are corners of the internet where I'm just like, I cannot believe, I can't believe that people like this exist mm -hmm. and that they like are so publicly like their face, their name, everything. They just have no problem saying what they say on the internet. Yeah. Well, like recently, and we were saying this earlier um, about people just like sharing negative thoughts. I don't mm -hmm. know, like something is in the air right now, especially like on, on TikTok, like specifically about people just sharing negative thoughts instead of just like, scrolling past it like if you don't like it just have nothing to do with it yeah. but now it's like anybody makes like one move and it's like i'm gonna make a negative video about it to get views or likes or something and it's like why don't you just scroll past it right. like why do you need to make these videos because now it is sad that like a lot of it is negativity mm -hmm. like uh, scrolling through it's just like it's somebody said something terrible and then people obviously coming for those people or then people like defending those people. And it's just like, why don't we just like, you know, do what we want and like, mm -hmm. like the videos you like or scroll past, like just shut the f up. Yeah. Like just let people live their f life. Yeah. And it's, it makes it like sad because it was such a fun place. And now it goes, I mean, it still goes in and out of that, mm -hmm. but it's just like, it's disheartening because like you said, like to be in a bubble with people you love so much, you're just so happy. Mm -hmm. And then to get on there and just like even be like just a little triggered by a comment or mm -hmm. something is just so like heartbreaking because it's just like I would I, personally, it's wild to just like comment on how somebody like lives their life. Like mm -hmm. I may disagree with like views or something like that, but just like I'm not thinking about that as I like go about my day. And yeah. it feels like people are doing that now. And mm -hmm. it's just like. It, it just sucks. It makes it like yeah. a less happy place. Yeah. Like that could be full of artistry or something that is silly that takes to your place of work or anything like that, you know? I think, yeah, I think it's like, it's, it's a real, to me, a byproduct of this late stage capitalism that we're in of yeah. like everybody 
nobody's being paid enough. Nobody can afford to live well. Mm -hmm. it, things are really tough out there for most people. Yeah. And so everybody is hoping that they can just pop off on the internet. And right. they're like, God, if I could just make, I mean, I, there are so many people that it's just like, you. they talk about it, that they're like, if I could just make $2,000 a month off my online presence, right. I can yeah. quit my job that I hate. You know, and so it encourages, yeah, anything, it's views and likes above all else. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, they know that if they, you know, there's been, there was this TikToker who I've never heard. That's the other thing is people will go like, oh my God, this famous TikToker. Mm -hmm. And it will be someone with 5 million followers. No. I'm like, I don't know that person. That happens to me all the time. I go to someone's Instagram and it says like 35 million followers. And I'm like, okay, am I old or am I out of touch or what is it? No, I everyone's famous now. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it, it's crazy yeah. how, how, how many people are living as mm -hmm. famous people that I'm like, no, I don't know you. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people don't know you, yeah. but there's 8 billion people in the mm -hmm. world. Yeah. You can have 5 million followers and a lot of us don't yeah, know you. Totally. Right? You know, but I think like, it rewards this kind of like negativity and nastiness. Like there was something like a couple of days ago where this TikToker had done so, had posted this really fat phobic video, mm -hmm. which is like right. people on the internet. If there's one thing they hate, it's fat, fat people, people, and yeah. I'm gonna f hear about it. Yeah. But then people are sending it to me and being like, "Have you seen this? Do you care about this? Or can you get this guy?" I'm like, "I don't give a f get this guy. Yeah. Honey, yeah. I'm having a nice day. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't care what this guy thinks yeah. about fat people. This mm -hmm. like random ass dude who mm -hmm. seems really unhappy, mm -hmm. and uh, he's also a fat person. I think this person they were telling me again, don't know him. Yeah, but a fat person <laughs> you're getting was, all this information. They're from telling other people. Me, yeah, and they're like, oh, he's a fat person that lost weight, and those are some of the most hate. Like the, some of the worst fat phobes on the mm -hmm. internet are former fat people. Right. And it's like, you haven't processed the fact that you still hate yourself. Right. But just all that kind of nastiness where I'm like, all that to say, I'm encouraged by, and I feel happy about, I think that there's going to have to come a shift mm -hmm. where we've been so online and we've been so in, in our phones. I really think people are lonely mm -hmm. and I think people are craving connection, mm -hmm. yeah. real life connection, yeah. sitting in rooms, at, going to live shows together, yeah. going and meeting strangers at bars. You can still meet people right. out in the world. Yeah. yeah, You can still go to a bar and I go, I go out all the time and yeah. make friends that I, I just by being in a place. Right. So I think I'm encouraged. I think there's going to be a, a real return to like analog in real life mm -hmm. friendship and connection. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's coming. I also think for it's for it's something that I feel like I've read on <laughs> the internet is like for younger generations, it's, it's a, it also with COVID, it's very much like we were, we were on our phones. We were born with our iPhones in our hands, yada, yada, yada. It, the one thing that I think is like you're saying, it's encouraging too, is that I think a lot of, a lot of younger people are like, well, I can't change this. Like, this is just who I am. And like, I'm stuck inside and yada, yada. It's like, it's never too late. No, and, no, and like people are always going to be out and about. And I, I do agree with you. And I also think it is time for that return to like normalcy from years ago. I'm so sick of, I'm so sick of being on my phone. Yeah. I'm so over it. I, and I, and I, and I, uh, yes, I'm addicted to my phone. I use it way too much. I, but there, there are times I feel like now more so than ever, I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm doing on here anymore. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the point of this is. It's like a crutch now. Yeah. It's like, if I, if you were like uncomfortable, or anxious, it's yeah. like, where's my phone? Yeah. Like, I'm like, I need that to like feel comfortable sometimes or like at an event. And it's like, oh, I'm like standing there. I'm like, let me look at my yeah. phone. I'm not looking at anything. Or I'd like pretend to take a call yeah. being like, yeah. Oh, hi, like yeah. what's going on? Yeah. But like, it's who? Yeah. No! <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you need me there now. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm on my coming. way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah. Like, yeah. No looking. Everyone's like, okay, bye. But yeah, yeah. no, I think too, like uh, we are like due for that, like resurgence of that, like human connection, yeah. because like, I think nothing will ever be able to replace that. Mm -hmm. So like, as no. soon as everybody, like there's going to be that moment yeah. where it's just like the craving. Mm -hmm. I, I crave it too. Even some days, like when I'm just like all alone filming during the day and then I'm like, Oh, I'm tired from filming. I'm going to stay home. And then it's like, I shouldn't have stayed home. Yeah. I'm like craving that like Connection. thing. Cause then you wake yeah. up and you're like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. This is like when I have friends that are struggling with mental health or cause I have struggled with mental health a lot. Mm. And I'm like, this is my, the three things that I think will, will help if someone is like really going through it is I'm like, put your phone away, mm -hmm. literally turn it off for the day. You are not that needed. You yeah. are not the president. Right. Put your phone away. Uh, go on a walk. Literally walk around yeah. outside if you can. If not, go, go if it's like two, if it's like winter or something mm -hmm. and you absolutely can't, go to the gym, yeah. walk on the treadmill or something. Literally just walk. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is become a regular somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh, go yeah. become a regular somewhere in the real world. Become a regular. At a, now, of course, there are like smaller parts of the population that have different abilities or mm -hmm. different things and they can't do this, right? right. They, they are immunocompromised or something. And you always have to qualify that because people will come for you. Mm -hmm. But I'm like... <laughs> if you can go become a regular somewhere, yeah. Like, and there are of course digital spaces to be regulars as right. well. Like, you can have like your gaming communities or whatever. Same. It's not, and no. if that's if that's what you have, right. go all in on it. 100%. If that's your situation, but go become a regular somewhere. Go to a bar. 
three nights a week mm-hmm. if you can, or whenever you're whenever you're sitting at home and going, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be sitting here alone. I should yeah. be talking to another human being. Go to the same restaurant and get to know the staff, learn their name, mm-hmm. ask questions about them. It will improve your life to a degree that you can't even imagine. Yeah, being a regular somewhere is like the most special, beautiful thing. Yeah. And it's like you matter there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I love I love being all the places I'm a regular at. I'm just yeah. Like, where, well, name some of the places that you're a regular at. Oh my god, where am I a regular yeah. at? Oh, yeah. um, my favorite coffee shop in Kansas City, Blip. Blip. Um, okay. I think I'm definitely a regular there. I'm a regular at. Gosh, where am I also my regular at? Oh, um, uh, it's down the street from me. I always um, why uh, Kuyu Lord. You have y'all been there? No. Mm-hmm. Kuyu Lord in LA. Okay. Incredible. What part of town? Uh, East Hollywood. Okay. Incredible Filipino food. Oh. Ooh. Chef, uh, the chef's name is Lord Maynard. He's incredible. Okay. It's a tiny little, it's probably the size of this set. It's yeah. a small little restaurant. Uh-huh. It was, it's been on a bunch of lists. Amazing okay, Filipino good food. Yeah. Yeah. If, if anyone goes to lives in LA, you gotta go to Kuyu Lord. Yeah. I love that place, but I'm in there all the time. Yeah. And yeah, just like anywhere that you can go and yeah. like, just see people. Yeah. You know? You gotta be more like my dad. My dad loves to go into restaurants and walk into the kitchen yeah. and meet people, yeah. which is so inappropriate, whatever. But I mean, he's and by the way, they all all end up loving him. Like my dad is friends with all wait staff, all chefs, everything like that. Yeah. But he just you just gotta be aggressive like my dad and just walk up and go into the kitchen. Also, yeah, I'm I'm so Midwestern dad <laughs> yeah. coded. Yeah. I can't help myself. I yeah. even okay, so I was driving from San Francisco to LA with my friend and she had a bunch of stuff in her arms mm-hmm. that she was gonna buy. And as she's walking up to the counter, I just can't even help myself but to mm-hmm. say things like this now to the cashier. I was like, this stuff's all free for her, right? Yeah. yeah. Stupid, yeah. stupid, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the cashier yeah. laughed. And I was it? like, okay, yeah. I got yeah. one yeah. off. Yeah. You know? well, by the way, I mean also the cashiers and stuff like that. Like even when you give them like the small, like it's insane. I feel like no one acknowledges them anymore, or they're just like, give me this, whatever, whatever. I'm sure that like that 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 joke made the day. Just and anything they're to they're break like, up. He's a comedian. Oh yeah, yeah. okay, that guy. <laughs> yeah. No, anything to break up the monotonous kind of like, uh, I don't know the transactional relationship. Yeah. The monotony of the transactional relationship. Mm. Just walking in on your phone, grabbing your shit, throwing it on the counter, being yeah. like, thanks. Yeah. And walk, anything to, right. to switch that up. Yeah. I love. Yeah. I love asking. I, sometimes it gets me in a sticky situation, but I always ask what's their favorite thing. I'm like, what do you like the best? And then I like yeah. usually don't end up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm going to yeah. actually do um, this. I'm definitely not going to have that. That yeah. sounds disgusting. But I also yeah. love the dad jokes. I, you know, like when we were kids, we used to like roll our eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, but like when it's like, oh, it like cleared the plate. And it's mm-hmm. like, he hated yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, can we can we send it back? Or like, can yeah. we get a full refund? Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah. but now it's like those things are yeah, like they're cute, uh, totally. Yeah. yeah, for people in the service industry, like dealing with like the nightmares that yeah. people are in general, like little jokes like that. Yeah. I'm sure, and becoming a regular. That's yeah. so that's so nice. Also, just yeah, embracing corniness. Yeah. I'm like, I used to my you know when I was a little bit younger, I was so obsessed with being cool. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be cool so bad, and I didn't want to be corny. I didn't want to be lame. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I'm like, I don't give a. No, I'm like, yeah. I would love to be corny, yeah. goofball. Yeah. I don't care. Anything to not just be boring. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. corny's great. Yeah. I actually love corny. Yeah. Not maybe all the time, but yeah. I'm like, why yeah, not? Yeah. If you have to go there, go corny. I'll be a big cornball. Yeah. I'll be a cornball. I'm yeah. on the cob. Yeah. yeah. I feel like cringe is like the word, but I feel like everybody's cringe. So like yeah. just embrace it. It's yeah. like we're all yeah. just doing it. So whatever. Yeah. Well, Caleb, so so you and I met because I saw the funny, the funny, one of the, oh God, I'm doing it again. One of the funniest, the funniest. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, so I saw something for you that was like, it was yeah, funny enough, yeah, but. Yeah. um, One of the funniest things you've ever done <laughs> was, was the way that you you ended up on my screen. It was it was a famous t- uh, Twitter video, mm. which was POV. Um, You're telling me, it was like, you're telling me a story and I'm just saying you did it right when you did something completely yeah, wrong. Yeah, I, I think it was like POV, your friend is clearly in the wrong. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Literally, literally, no, yeah, right, right, right. I agree, and it would be different if, right, right, yes. And it would be, right. And then I was like, no, you're "Mm -hmm." totally right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we wanted to play a little game with you. (gasps) This game is, it's called Who's in the Wrong? Okay, okay. so we're gonna give you situations. Ooh, okay. And there's two people, and you have to tell us, and you have to think about it, who, who, which person is like, definitely in the wrong. I mean, I'm ready. Let's go. You have a trip planned with your husband that you're really excited about. When you show up to the airport, you see his mom waiting there with her luggage to surprise you. You walk out of the airport. You walk out of the airport. Who's in the wrong? Uh, he was. Mm-hmm. Never surprised me with somebody. Yeah. If you really knew me, you'd know I don't want to be surprised with somebody. Mm-hmm. I like to prepare different energies. I like to get my I like to get myself straight. Yeah. He was in the wrong. Next. Yeah. 
I'll, guys, I'll, I'm a judge with yeah, this. I'm like, I love yeah, it. This is no problem for me. <laughs> Your sister-in-law always conveniently forgets her wallet when you two go out to dinner. And whenever the bill comes, she says she didn't bring it and she doesn't pay. In advance, you knew this would happen. So you brought her wallet with you. And when the bill comes and she says she doesn't have it, you bring it out and say she can help pay. Who's in the wrong? I'm in the wrong. The person who brings the wallet for yeah. the sister-in-law is in the mm-hmm. wrong. Because it's like, you should just have a normal conflict. Yeah. Yeah. You should just yeah. be like, hey, why are you, you doing this every time? Yeah. You don't pay for shit. Yeah. But also, it's like, there, she, there might be a reason she can't pay. That's a right. passive aggressive I don't like. Yeah. You brought her wallet. Yeah. That's a sociopathic yeah. move. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. That's but, like what we were talking about earlier, like relationships. It's like, I hate them. And it's like, what should I do? It's like, maybe have a conversation. Yeah. Just yeah. say yeah. what's yeah. up. Just yeah. tell them. Why are you being weird? Yeah. 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 Um, okay, a friend has a party and tells no one to wear black and asks nicely because that's what they're going to be wearing. You feel only comfortable in black. So you wear black to the party and your friend freaks out. Who's in the wrong? You. Don't go to the party if you feel that way. Mm-hmm. Work. The, the host had a specific ask. Mm-hmm. The, if a host asks you to do something, you mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. As a host, you also should be nicer to your guests and ask if people Work cool with it, but just don't go. That's yeah. weird. Work. I love how quick you are. This right? yeah, is easy for me. So I'm good. like, I gotta think about this. This is <laughs> easy for me. This is me. easy for me. I love it. I, we were like coming up with them, and I was like, I don't know. I feel like yeah. I, don't <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, I don't really know. Yeah. yeah, we were both like, I feel like either of them could be the villain. You're like, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's, there's one and that's the right well, answer. Baby, I want this to be a viral clip for y'all. Yeah. I can't be wishy-washy <laughs> on the viral clip. Um, so your friend dumps their boyfriend because he's gay. And now that they are no longer together, he comes to you and he wants to date you. The original friend won't allow it. Who's in the wrong? Um, This one actually is tricky. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay we, yeah, got yeah. Yeah, we, we got it. We got it. You guys, yeah, we, we got, got him. him. We got him. We got him. We got him. We stopped him. I came up with this okay. one. Yeah. 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 I think... I think ultimately, <laughs> oh, this is so great area. I would say if you're the friend, uh, the, the gay friend who's getting now hit on by the ex-boyfriend, uh-huh. mm-hmm. I would say do whatever your girlfriend wants uh-huh. you to do. Like if she really is that bent out of shape about it right. and she's your friend, I wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. But I also think as the girlfriend, it's like, well, what he, what is yeah. he's gay. He's gay. Like, yeah. it's, it's a whole different thing. Yeah. I think the weird one is the boyfriend who came out as gay. Yeah, like, he's, oh, yeah, he's for weird. being gay. Yeah. He's weird for yeah. being gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that you were already like, in a straight hide relationship. Hide it, hide it. Yeah. Yeah. You had everything, yeah. Yeah. and well, you ruined it. And yeah. I don't want to be mean. I just really, I want to see him in heaven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, stay with your girlfriend. Yeah. There's honestly so. not enough room in hell for no. all of us. No, yeah. I'm going to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People got to stop coming out. There's no more space. There's no more space in hell. Okay, so this is the last one. My bro... My brother brings over his shitty kid who is always a terror. The kid is told not to throw the wine on the couch. (laughs) Nick did this. Nick came up with this one. (laughs) My brother brings over his shitty kid who is always a terror. The kid is told not to throw wine on the couch and still does. (laughs) I call him a little cunt. Who's in the wrong? Right. The kid. No. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's what I think. Don't ruin Uncle Nick's couch. How about that? (laughs) Don't throw wine on the couch. No, do you know what's so funny, though? (laughs) That's all I'm saying the whole time. I have two little cousins. They're Uh, uh, Joel and Elliot. Love them to death. And they come and stay at my house in Kansas City all the time mm because they live like an hour away out in the um, outside the city. And their parents bring them over and they Mm -hmm. stay for a couple days when I'm in town. I love them to death. Mm -hmm. And I have always been a go with the flow, like whatever person. Because my dad was really strict Mm -hmm. um, about weird shit. Mm -hmm. And but I will say now that I have bought nice furniture for my nice home that I love when these kids are eating popcorn on the couch I'm like put it in a Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like yeah. crunching pretzels into the carpet. Yeah. But it, it, so a lot of them being like, a lot of being like, oh, it's so young, yeah. kids will be kids. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna f- hit yeah. you. Yeah. Your parents don't yeah. hit you, but we're gonna start. Yeah. Get that f- pretzel Where out of your my f- manners. Have you yeah. lost your goddamn mind? Yeah. Like I start to shit that my mom even. Uh, they like leave the door open yeah. for too long while they're yeah. playing. I'm like, the AC is yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Am I yeah. cooling the neighborhood? Yeah. Turn the lights off. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. Hey, are kids. you going to be in that room anymore? Because yeah. why, why am I paying for it? So did the kitchen floor seem like where we should leave our socks? <laughs> yeah. To you? Because it yeah. didn't to me. Yeah. Yeah, it just drives me crazy. Yeah. I'm like losing my mind. They, they get up on their, my, my beautiful couch. Yeah, jumping with, up with and their, down. Oh, jumping up and oh, down God. with their little gross mm-hmm. shoes. I'm no. like, I'm going to. Yeah. Hit you. When you know how much you spent on like a nice piece of furniture. They don't and- understand the value of a dollar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how hard I worked. Yeah. Yeah. Your, al- your allowance is not going to add up to this. Okay. So it? that mattress you just spilled Kool Aid on, I did a brand partnership. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And I didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good 45 minutes yeah. of work. Yeah. I posted right? content yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. I just set up my <laughs> ring light for that. <laughs> but the couch is really important though. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like, it's. Even when I'm hooking up with somebody and it gets like a little, if I'm going down or he is and it gets like a little like 
saliva eat. I'm like, we got to move to yeah, the bed because yeah. get off the couch. The yeah. suede couch yeah. can't yeah. handle yeah. this. Or like, it's like, where's the lube? And I'm like, it's in there and we got to go. Yeah. 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 We're not doing it here, babes, because yeah. there's no mess on this. <laughs> Couch. It's in there in a fully tiled room that yeah, I can just spray yeah. down at the end. Yeah. It's nowhere near my beautiful couch. Yeah. Like, open the door, it's fully tarped. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for being here. And we have a special, exciting news for you. Great news. You have been nominated and won, and you won. a Breathe If You Agree award. What is it? You've won the best male performance in a motion picture upcoming. Oh my Yay! God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh. We'd love, we'd love if you would give a, give a speech to that camera over there. Um, sorry. <laughs> Cause I always <laughs> dreamed of this. Thank you guys so much. I don't, um, I want to thank, um, my mom, um, I want to thank uh, everybody at uh, all the coffee shops that I go to. <laughs> and I want to thank um, you guys, of course, I forget your names, but you're so <laughs> lovely. Um, and I just want to thank um, the producers of this show, um, because when I walked in today, they told me that I, they said I'm not funny. They said I'll never <laughs> win an award on this show. And they called me a f <laughs> And um, I'm standing here today because they didn't believe in me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, oh, so thank, much, you so much. thank you so much, Connor. Thank you so much. This is so oh cute, y'all. Uh, I'm bad. It's gorgeous, Yay. just like you. Well, thank you so so much for being here. We you, we adore you. It's so good to see you. We're so excited for all the upcoming projects. Please let everyone know where they can find you. What they what they need to listen to. What they need to do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh, at Caleb says things on absolutely everything. Go over there if you want to uh, find me in real life somewhere. I would prefer prefer it. Uh, my podcast so true is on the internet. Go look at that. And we just, uh, when is this coming out? A in week and a half. A week, and a, half. week yeah. and a half. Oh my God. So by the time this comes out, it will be easily out. I have a movie uh, coming out this summer in theaters with my friend Rachel Sinnott, Sabrina Jalise, my friend Ali Panky wrote and directed it. Olga Petz is in it. Um, it's a it's a great movie. So it's called I Used to Be Funny. So go see it in a theater near you. Yeah. Those are my things. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much again thank for being guys. here. It's been an honor, truly. Thank yeah. you for having me. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. You guys were toxic. Um, yeah. But it was yeah. We're going to go cry after yeah. this. That's actually, yeah. <laughs> Well, Thank you, guys. Of course. Yeah. And everybody, you can stream, of course, where podcasts are streamed. And you can watch live videos on the YouTube channel at Past Your Bedtime. And yeah. yeah. We'll see you next week. Yeah, we love you. Bye. Thank you. Thank Mwah. you. Bye. Oh, that was so fun. I did not know y'all were gay. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. beautiful. Hit it hard like a bad girl.